Hi, it's Kelsey with Shipwreck Beads, and today we are going to make a Tree of Life pendant. Um, yesterday on my Twitch video, um, I put a sort of call out asking what we should make today, and that was suggested by Ginger Bear Cub. So, um, so that's what we're going to make. Um, getting geared up for Christmas. Hopefully you've already got all your Christmas gifts made. Um, hi Pam, welcome today. Uh, this is the, we are in the last stretch. There's what, it's the 21st, so we've got four days till Christmas. I have still a couple of presents left to make. Um, but uh, yeah, for the most part we're done. Now I just gotta get everything wrapped up. So today we're gonna make a Tree of Life pendant. This is the first one I've ever made. This one right here. And uh, so we're gonna make another one on video today. It's pretty pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I did watch a couple of uh, YouTube videos just to familiarize myself with the process because I've seen them before, but I've never actually made one. So um, bear with me as I teach you how to make one as well. But yeah, they're pretty simple. And so we use copper wire today. I've got 14 gauge for the frame and then 26 gauge for the um, the branches and, and trunk and then I'm using some gemstone chips so these ones here are peridot chips but I think I want to use some amethyst ones because they're just really pretty so we're gonna make an amethyst version but we're gonna go ahead and get you angled down so we can go ahead and get started alrighty my mess of a desk here. What's new? Not much. A little bit more. There we go. Okay. So, got my 14 gauge wire. Ow! And I'm just using this little container that has some jump rings in it. So I'm used to using that to, as my base of my frame. Wrap that around, get that started. So I've got two pairs of cutters here. I've got one that's just kind of like a crappy pair. Um, seen better days, but I don't want to ruin my good cutters, so I'm going to use that to trim this 14 gauge wire. This is dead soft wire, but it uh, still is a little bit um, harder to bend than your normal. Now I'm going to make a wrapped loop on the top of the pendant piece. for the connectivity issues from last week's video. I know some people had issues connecting and some didn't, and I'm not really sure why. Um, but I believe that was on Facebook's end, so there's not really much I could do about it. All right, so I've got my little frame made. You could be a little more decorative about it, but I just wanted to keep it simple. Go ahead and make sure that it's still rounded. Go ahead and put that around my round nose plier as well. Make sure and get that rounded out. All right, so now I've got the base for my Tree of Life pendant. And here's the one I already made. So now we're going to take the 26 gauge wire and I'm going to cut. Let's see. It did, but it. Yeah, it did. It played back fine. So I don't know what the problem was. It was really weird. Um, so now I'm going to cut 10 pieces of 26 gauge copper wire. And I'm cutting them about eight inches. Um, you could probably get away with doing six as well, but. Yeah, so if, if you did have issues watching Friday's video, you can go back and watch it now and it should play back fine for you. 
but for some reason it was just not not happy so let's see how many pieces of that one two three four five six so in this first one I made I only used eight pieces of wire in the center and I think I want it to be a little bit thicker than that so I'm gonna use 10 this time two three four five six seven eight So I've got my 10 pieces of wire. I'm going to line them all up at the bottom. They don't have to be even, but that's just kind of my personal preference there. Get all those lined up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take probably about two inches from the bottom here and I'm going to twist that together. And that's going to be the start of my trunk. And you want to twist a little less than an inch. And so the part on the top with where it's longer, that's going to be our branches. And then on the bottom part, that's going to be our roots. So then we want to take our root section and we want to twist them together. Just a few pieces, kind of clump them however you want. And you can use your pliers to help you with this too. in the center. Hi Brandy! This is the second tree of life I've ever made so but I love how they look. So right now I'm just going through and I'm twisting my root sections. And I've got a couple of clumps of two and a couple of clumps of three. There's not really a right or wrong way to do it and I am using my pliers to help me get my twist done. Okay, so once you've got that sort of twisted, the roots how you want them, you can spread them out a little bit too. Like that. And then we're going to wrap them around the bottom of the pendant piece. Too much wrapped in there. I'm just going to hold it in place with my finger and then I'm just going to wrap my sections up. And of course this is where, you know, it's you're going to want to have a little bit more finesse and practice um, to really get your wraps to look even and nice, but I'm just going to be a little messy about it right now because I'm trying to be quick on video. all wrapped up how we want it and then I'm going to go ahead and trim these Then I'm going to take my chain nose pliers and I'm going to press those ends around and down into the 14 gauge wire just to make sure they're nice and flush down. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread out my top sections and I'm just going to fan them all out before I decide whether I'm going to wrap any of them together to make some like branch clusters. Right, so you can just put them on just like this, but I like to take them and grew in, you know, small little sections and give them a twist or two 
so you can see the wire sort of fan out from the from the trunk. Yeah, you're a little late, Ginger. All right, so now I went ahead and twisted up my, my little branch clumps. I'm gonna spread my wires out again. Like so. And now I'm gonna start adding my beads. So the first one I used Peridot chips, and this next one I'm going to use Amethyst chips. You can use any type of bead. I really like how the chips look because it gives it that really nice, natural, sort of organic look. But you could use crystals, you could use, you know, whatever. You know what, they're actually super simple, um, Danette. Just a lot of twisting. All right, so we've got our, our piece, we've got our, we've got it anchored down to the bottom here, and now we're gonna start filling this top section with beads. And I'm, again, using chips, and these are some smaller chips, um, but you can really use whatever beads you want. It would look really nice, like, with crystals in the rainbow colors for the, for like a chakra tree of life pendant would be really cool. All right, so now I've got that section down and I'm gonna wrap it to, um... huh, I don't know what to tell you, Tina. Everything looks good on my end. Okay, so we're gonna grab this just a couple times just to secure it. We're gonna go back and do some tighter wraps once we get all of the beads on. Yeah, it looks like my connectivity is fine here, so it's probably something on your end. Unfortunately, Facebook is not the most reliable. I should make some of these and turn them in. Oh, you could totally turn them into keychains. Oh, for the main base, I used 14 gauge dead soft copper wire, and then I wrapped it around um, this little container that I've got jump rings in to make my, my round section. So that's what I used to make the base. You could use a round commercial finding too. You don't have to make that part. Yeah, refreshing your Facebook feed might work. I 
I know recently I've been having a lot of issues with Safari and Facebook, so that may be it. So I cut eight inch sections of wire. You could probably get away with only using six, but I didn't want to shortchange myself just in case. Again, this is the second tree of life I've ever made. So you get to see the process with me. <laughs> the hole on that one. There it is. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Sometimes it's hard to find the holes on the chips just because there's such an irregular shape. And then as you're stringing, you just want to check because you want to make sure you fill up the entire space with beads. There we go. Have you ever made... I have not made a dream catcher on a live video. If I was going to do a dream catcher on a video, I'd probably do it on Twitch just because dream catchers are so time consuming to make. Um, and the dream catchers that I've made in the past, I don't really do the traditional dream catcher weave. I just do kind of a more random pattern. But that's definitely something that I would like to do in an upcoming Twitch video for sure. So on Tuesdays and Thursdays at about 1.30, I film a video on Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash shipwreckbeads. It's a live streaming service. And um, I'm there on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I do some longer um, instructional videos for other different longer techniques. So for the Facebook videos, I try and keep them about a half hour. This is going to end up being a little bit longer one today, I think. So when you get to the other side of your pendant, you want to make sure your wraps are going the other way. So I've got all these wraps going to where they're going towards the outside this direction. So I want to make sure and do the opposite of that on this. So. Um, You'll just want to pay attention to the way your wraps go because I want all of my wraps to kind of finish up on the outer edge. And so I said that and then I did something completely different. <laughs> so we're just going to fix that. There we go.
So again, you want to make sure that your wraps are going the right direction. And I'm just doing a just one wrap right now. I'm going to go back and finish that up and secure it a little more. But for now, I want to make sure that I don't need to make any adjustments after I get everything on there. Yeah, it's definitely looks like a much more complicated technique than it actually is. So I was kind of pleased to discover that. So I've always wanted to learn how to make one of these. Add one more bead on here that's a little looser than I want it so but that's why I only did the one loop on my wrap just to make sure I don't need to add anything else it's easier to add it if I do all right I've got one more little branch to finish up and then I'm going to finish up the rest of my wraps. Yep, oh, there it goes. Well, hello, Jill from Florida. Thanks everybody for sharing the video. Alright, let's see where we're at. Perfect. Alright, so now we are just about finished. So we've got all of our branches have beads on them and now we're just going to finish up and secure these wraps a little bit more before we trim them. Um, the reason I didn't finish up the wraps before is just in case I needed to add more beads or make any adjustments. I wanted to make sure and do that and it's a lot easier to undo one wrap than it is to undo several. So now we're just going to go back through and finish that up. Now if you have enough wire you can always finish up and wrap the entire area, but I'm not going to do that today just because that's time consuming and I don't want to take the time to do it. But you could certainly do that. Um, if you're planning on, on wrapping the entire area outside the frame, then make sure you cut yourself longer pieces of wire. So I'm just going to do about five wraps, then I'm going to trim it and take my pliers and just press that wrap in and make sure that it's nice and snug up on the frame. Okay. 
And the 26 gauge wire is really soft and easy to work with, but you do need to make sure that you don't get any kinks in it because they're really hard to get out if you do. Two of our branches complete. I'm gonna get this one done. So now we've got those four outside ones done. We're going to finish up this last one here. So I was really, again, pretty surprised at just how simple these are really to make. They they look a lot more complicated than they are. And I, I mean, you can definitely add to them and make them more... make them more complicated and add more steps to it. But the basic construction of them is pretty straightforward. There you go, Christmas presents, absolutely. You could even make a really big one for like a window hanging would be really cool. Especially if you were to use crystals on like a window hanging and have it as a sun catcher. I think that'd be lots of fun. So you can kind of see what I was talking about now. So see how these wraps are all facing this direction going towards the outside. And so this one I did the opposite so that they would also be facing towards the outside. So that's what I was talking about by making sure the wraps are going the right direction. Yeah, it would look really nice in a window, I think. Oh, no problem, Ginger. I gotta say, this is like the best part of my job is being able to do these videos and talk with you ladies every day. And gentlemen, if there's any men watching, of course, beating is not just for women. Okay. And I hope you all know how much I do appreciate all your feedback and appreciate your um, suggestions for videos. Um, that really like I, I want to teach you guys things that you want to learn about so getting the suggestions from you is always really great so then I know you're gonna I'm doing something that you want to see
you want to do it. Yeah, it's, it's really a lot simpler than I expected it to be. So a couple of things I did learn from the first one I did to this second one, so this purple one is the second one that I made, is to um, do the opposite on your wrap. So you can see on this one, all of the wraps are going the same direction. So on this one, the ones on this side are all going this way and the ones on this side are all going that way. So that's one thing that I, I did differently on the first one. Um, I used more wire <clears throat> on this second one than I used on the first one. I don't think eight was nearly enough um, to make it nice and full and pretty. This one has 10, so you can see the difference there. I did the connection here a little bit differently, but that's just because I cut didn't cut enough wire on that one. Um, I think it looks much better with more strands of wire. Obviously, it's going to be more time consuming if you use more wire, but um, I think it turned. I think it ends up looking a lot better. Um, I like the look of the smaller chips, but you again, you can use any beads that you want. I think the next one I make is probably going to use rainbow beads and do like a chakra style pendant. But let's go ahead and angle back up. Right. So yes, yeah, so there you go. Tree of Life pendant. You guys learned with me. So again, this is my second time making a Tree of Life. Trinidad and Tobag Tobago. Nice. Welcome. I like the see. I like the second one better. So it just looks a lot more full compared to this one. So you can see the difference. But again, this is the first one I ever made. So even after that, you can see how it improves. You just need to uh, to practice. The copper wire is fairly inexpensive too. So um, you can definitely whip some up just to experiment with before you start giving them as gifts or whatever. But, but yeah, they were a lot simpler than I expected them to be. So um, I'm glad you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll be on Twitch tomorrow at 1.30 Pacific time. That's twitch.tv slash shipwreckbeads um, Friday. I'm taking the holiday off. So we'll see you back next week after that. Um, how many inches to add the beads? So the, so what I did is the 26 gauge wire in here, I cut eight inches of wire. Um, you're gonna wrap about an inch. Well, that's a little less than an inch in the center there for your stem. And then you're gonna wrap around your roots. And so I mean, maybe a half of a quarter of an inch because it depends because you're going to create a couple little wraps in the center part to have your branches sort of spread out. So there's not really an exact measurement on the inches of beads to add. So it's it's about a quarter to a half of an inch. Um, yeah, you just need to experiment with it till you get something that you like. Yeah. But yeah, if you guys have any other questions, I'm happy to answer them. Again, I love getting your suggestions for videos. So um, send us some messages, put a comment in um, on one of the videos, post something on our page. Um, I love seeing pictures of things too. So if you guys do have suggestions and wanna shoot me a picture, um, that's great. Um, yeah, I hope you all have a great Christmas. I hope you all have a I will put a list up um, as soon as the video is done, but you're going to need a 26 gauge wire, 14 gauge wire, and then whatever beads of your choosing. So I used an ameth a small amethyst chip, but I'll go ahead and put that up in the comments when the video is finished. And yeah, thanks for joining me today and we will see you tomorrow on Twitch. Have a great rest of your morning and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Right,